I'm going to tell you why you don't need an overly complicated and expensive system for your smart home. Okay, check this out. Let's see how far my Amazon Aero 6 can actually provide coverage. Let's go. <laughs> I'm getting kilobytes for speed with my Unify setup. And this is supposed to be the Unify long range and <laughs> 10 meg the long range access point i have two of them let's go back to my single unit for my euro setup look at that we're getting <laughs> much better performance from my amazon euro of 200 dollars versus my unify system All right, that was a test of my Unify system versus my Amazon Euro system. Let's go talk more. This right here is my Amazon Euro 6E and it costs about $200 and I've been using it for just over 60 days now to power my entire house. And this is my $1,000 Unify basic setup. I've had this for just over four years now and um, when I moved from my old house, I brought it with me to the new house. Hey Google, turn on the island light. I've been seeing more and more people trying to get the Unify system, thinking that that's what they need to actually get their smart home all set up. But I don't think that's the case. The Unify system is a very expensive system to get into, at least from a home owner and home user perspective. Unify system is designed for small to medium scale businesses where scalability is very important. You want to be able to grow your business and be able to add devices as needed. But in the home, most people don't need that functionality. This system was brought into the home space by prosumers like myself who wanted systems that's more than capable than the basic systems that you would get from your service providers. A lot of soul routers have actually caught up to the game and actually provide a lot of dark features and functionalities. The reason why I actually went ahead and picked up an Amazon Euro was because I've been having serious issues with my Unify setup for quite some time now. I'm a network analyst by profession. I do this for a living. I've been involved in Unify support and other industry experts to help me take a look at my network setup to see what could possibly cause me so much issues with my setup. I've had so many connectivity problems, especially with Thread and Matter devices. About three years ago, SwitchBot sent me their very first Matter device, which was their SwitchBot Orb 2. For whatever reason, no matter what I did, this device just would not connect to my network. I thought I had a 40 unit, so I reached out to SwitchBot and asked them to send me another unit, which they did. The same problem happened, it just would not connect to my network. So I troubleshooted for months trying to figure out what's going on. I was beyond frustrated. The SwitchBot Up 2 uses Matter and Wi-Fi. I said, okay, maybe this is a brand new product and uh, you know, maybe they have some software issues with their system. One day I was doing a review and I needed to set up a product at my mom's place. So I took the SwitchBot there and it worked instantly when I used their own service provider gear. This kind of got me thinking, what could be causing my problem? I have a thousand dollar unit and something that's provided by the service provider worked just fine. Could my Unify system be the cause of my problem? That opened up the doors to a rabbit hole that I've been trying to solve for the past three years. And this problem has been consistent across all my thread and matter device. My car P2 just would never connect to my Unify system. Neither would my smart wing shades that connects using thread as well. I've also had issues with even my nano leaf devices and some of my Eve devices as well. Some of them will connect, stay connected for only a short while and eventually disconnect again. This caused me so much frustrations because I would have set up automations and routines and then when it disconnects, I have to factory reset the whole thing again and get it all set up all over again. Just got to a point I just gave up. Like for example, these lights here were all automated such that when I'm standing here, the light comes on and when I leave, it goes off. But since I switched back to my Unify system again, the problem is back. And that is why I got the Amazon Euro 6 to try out. 
The Amazon Aero has a 2.5 gig ad wired Ethernet port that's capable of speeds of up to 2.3 gigs per second. Now, these are actually impressive numbers that most households can actually make do with. Now, it's not just limited to that. It is built for a smart home. It comes with a thread radio as well as a Zigbee radio. This would help in connecting lots of devices like a car devices like the P2 or even their contact sensors as well to that Amazon Eero without needing an additional hub. Now, the vast majority of smart home devices currently come with either Thread, Zigbee, Z-Wave or Wi-Fi. So it has pretty much covered three out of four of them. So which means you do not need additional hub to be able to use the system. Although you do need to use the Lady platform to be able to access the Zigbee radio. But for the Thread, it doesn't matter because it just acts as a Thread border router. So any device that is Thread will connect to the internet using that device. The Amazon Euro 6 comes with a bunch of features and functionalities for that price point. First of all, it's an all-in-one solution with a tri-band radio, which means 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz band. The Wi-Fi also supports up to 160 megahertz channel, which means we can get a maximum data rate of up to 1.6 gig over Wi-Fi. You do need a subscription model to be able to get some of the advanced features like one pass, multi SSIDs, and um, you know other security systems as well. Now, if you wanted to get the equivalent on the Unify side, you need to get at least the Unify Dream Machine, which is that cylindrical system that comes with both Wi-Fi as well as a router and a switch. And that will set you back about $450 to $500, depending on when and where you buy it from. Now, this is actually not a tri-band system, but a dual band. It has a 2.4 and a 5 gig radio, so you don't get that 6 gig band. You also don't get the Zigbee and the thread functionality. But if you wanted to take advantage of the more advanced feature, then you can get the UDM Pro and then combine it with their PoE switch as well. With the Amazon Eero, you get a quick five minute setup using the Eero app. I mean, it took me all of five minutes to get it all fully set up. With the device system, you have to set up things like VLANs, set up your SSIDs, you have to set up all of your QoS settings, firewall rules, a whole bunch of advanced features that you probably want to set up to actually take the best advantage of the system. The one big thing that separates both of them is the setup and the ease of use. The Amazon Eero actually is very simple and can be used in pretty much any part of your house. For the Unify system, you probably need like a rack or some sort of a dedicated area to be able to put this system. If you want to use the Unify system, you have to ask yourself a couple of questions. First of all, do you have the budget and the financial capacity to actually go into that Unify system? Because it is a rabbit hole. You cannot stop and you have a minimum investment amount to actually get anything set up. The second challenge is the configuration aspect. For me, I'm a network specialist, so I'm going to say setting up the Unify system is actually very simple and straightforward. For most people out there, they're going to probably just set up at the very basic level and not be able to even touch some of the features and the functionalities of this system. Most people don't need all of this, in my opinion, because if you wanted to access your bank account, for example, you're going to have to go to your bank's website, which is encrypted, and then the communication between your phone and the bank is also encrypted as well. And there are a bunch of server-side security measures in place to prevent you know, things like man-in-the-middle attack. So you're not going to be really worried about those kind of security things, at least not on your end. It is your bank's responsibility to make sure that their system is secured. The Unify system offers quite a very flexible and scalable system with each wireless access point can offer as much as 2000 square foot coverage as well, but that is model dependent. I have the Unify 6 long range access point and that's 2000 square foot. If you're going with the smaller models, then you won't be able to get as much coverage. However, you can also expand it like the Euro system either by mesh or by wired. Now where the Unify system shines is when you need to do advanced features like multi-household use. In my case, I have tenants and they use my network as well. So I'm able to create a separate SSID and separate VLANs for them so that that way their traffic and everything relating to them is completely separate from my own household. Now, what that means is that my Apple TV will not show up on their system so they cannot cast to my Apple TV and vice versa. I also cannot cast or see any of the Apple devices or Chromecast or TVs and all or printers and print or send 
to their system because I can actually separate them using VLANs. The Unify system also provides some other advanced features like intrusion prevention system as well as intrusion detection system. However, this comes at a price because once you activate this system, it actually reduces the bandwidth capacity that you actually have. So if you have like a one gig um, network speed from your service provider, implementing this will actually shave off a portion of that. So you're not gonna get your full one gig. Another big advantage the Unify system has over the Euro is that you don't have any subscription model with the Unify system. You purchase your hardware and you own it for life. But the thing is you're actually paying upfront for that because the average Unify system costs an insane amount of money. My U6LR, for example, is about 250 Canadian dollar. The UDM Pro is about 520 Canadian dollar. And then you want to get a POE switch and that you're looking at $600 up. Yeah, you're not paying for subscription, but you're paying the cost of that upfront. I mean, there's an argument to say if you decide you want to sell the unit, you can recoup some of your initial investments back. But with technology constantly evolving right now, devices are rapidly becoming obsolete. So right now, I'd rather pay a little bit less and then use it for a few years and then toss it out the window. Versus paying so much more in hopes that in, when I'm ready to sell it, somebody will be able to pay me back some of that value. Currently, anyone right now who has the Unify Switch, the Gen 2 without the POE feature, will not be able to sell that device because most people need the POE functionality. And even POE itself has started to evolve. Now, there was POE, there's POE++, there's POE+. Plus. So the power requirements continue to evolve. Now, I'm not trying to say the Unify system is a bad system. All I'm trying to say is there's a place for Unify system. The Unify system is ideal if you're trying to build some sort of a small business kind of network in your home. Again, you have to be fully invested into the system. So if you're having things like, you know, you're hosting a server in your house, you have multiple Wi-Fi in your house, you have multiple networks used for VLANs, QoS, things like that, then you might want to consider a Unify system. But for most people, you can pick up this guy that requires very minimal configuration. It comes with a whole lot more value, you know, Tread Radio, come with Zigbee, a whole lot more that you will need in your home. And you can expand the system as well with the mesh. You can even get a POE switch that's cheap that you can plug into this guy as well and still get POE devices. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. And um, do you have a unified system? I'd like to hear your thoughts. What have you, your experience been so far with it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you have troubles? Also, if you have a Unify system, would you like to see a video about the best ways to configure your Unify system? Let me know down in the comment section. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.